interesting idea. If gravity works, we do that. Right, okay. Okay, let's get some uh, colours on the outside and we'll see uh, where we go from there. <laughs> yeah, privacy does not exist with uh with cats. Um personally I think they get very confused at why we don't scratch at the litter tray, but uh I'm fairly certain one or two of them get rather confused at why we pee in the litter bowl uh in the water bowl, but yeah. No, that's horrible. this back and see if that looks any better uh, yeah I think that's it just just the the light on its own will do the trick Yep, yeah, dyed clay will go as well. All I want to do at the moment is try to stick some lights up. So, we'll try a few different light coloured lights and, uh, and see how they go. And I just want to try to get a, a stream of light effect wrapping around the tree. Let's see if we can do this. Try an upside down hopper. I like that. That's worth a try. Let's go and get some hoppers. Well, the cat's probably, uh, the cat's, the, there's, there's, there's actually some, some science behind that, okay? The cat is probably very, very interested in what you're doing and wondering why it's so interesting. And um, most animals won't drink stale water, yeah, so water that's been stagnant for a while, and that's, that's very logical. Uh, so, um, you know, if you want to go away on holiday and leave your cat behind, you can actually leave some uh, some devices around that will actually move the water around in the cat's bowl to make it drink it. They're like little fountains and things like that. Uh, and now I've completely forgot what I was doing here. I was, oh yes, I was after hoppers, wasn't I? There we go, let's grab some hoppers and let's see what that looks like. Uh, and get some, actually, my inventory's pretty full. So we'll put some lights up and then if time allows, we'll come back for some clay. I really need to start concentrating on doing this now because I would like to finish by midnight so let's try some of these out I 
I think dyed wool would make a very interesting tree, you know, sort of an artificial tree effect, as opposed to um, Christmas tree. No, that's wrong. Okay, you're going to make me do this the hard way, aren't you? This hopper doesn't like the idea of upside down, so I think that plan has gone out the window. Get that back. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? Very good way for it to come right back. So let's have one, say, here. Then I think we're going to need to start going up. Right, that probably should have started this from the top. It would have been a bit easier, but never mind. One there. Woohoo! Okay. Now, is this this bottle of water? Is it fizzy or still? Those the last one I put the last one was there, so the next one can go here say yep. Here <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm intrigued, of course yeah. This is definitely one that you're going to want to ask veterinarian advice for, but I'm just wondering what, how a cat would react to sparkling water. And for God's sake, don't do that without asking a vet first. Just see what those ones look like, and then we'll go and do some other colours. I think actually eat something so we get our hit point back. Do do do. There we go. I do have some food. Jolly good. been reminded about a cat well I didn't own it um, flatmate when I was at college owned it uh, 
lovely little cat called Cosmic. Excuse me. Um, she would sit on my shoulder and read the paper with me in the morning and had an, a, a nasty habit of um, of eating off people's plates right up to the day when I made a really hot curry she stopped after that for some reason right what do I want you know, actually, what I think I want now is I want some clays. Let's uh, let's try doing a tinsley type thing. <laughs> Bye, Gurney. Uh, it's nice seeing you. See you next week, I hope. Get some clay. Um, red and green seem like good colours, really, don't they? Junk away. It's not really that surprising you think about it. The cats are thinking, hey, you know, they're enjoying it. What are they like? Oh, sweet. I'll have some more of that. And that's exactly the same way as a human being would act. All right. Pop that back and... Oh, I left the these behind. Right, all right. We're still talking about the disgusting habits of our pets. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, the next 20 minutes is going to be spent climbing back up here. Really must make something a bit more sophisticated out of this one day. Okay, right, here we go. Get some clay. Of which I have a pitifully small amount. But plenty of this, so. Uh, where did I put that? Okay, green and. And clay, it's green stained clay, and put back some rose red. Right, let's try some colors like that. Well, I'm willing to bet we can wrap them like tinsel. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm both, which probably offends both camps, to be honest with you. Yeah, why not? Just... Don't do the Hello Kitty Christmas tree and everyone will be happy. I do you like sunsets in this game? What? If you think about it, 
dogs are tools. We've made dogs into what we want. We stretch them, we squeeze them. We've you know, bent them into shape how we'd like them to be. Oh, whereas cats are basically a furry ball of purr. And that's pretty much all we've ever wanted from them. You know, there's never been a working cat. At least not intentionally, and possibly not twice. Uh, horses I can see. Uh, goats I've never got too attached to. Uh, my my argument here is never spend too much time with anything arguably more insane than you are. And even goats have got even eye beat, I would say. Perhaps I shouldn't have built this so close to uh, Slimy Santa. But I think we'll put another one of these in. Come up there. Yeah, I think one more of those will make a. Uh, a, a decent effect there. And where are you? You in here? You sound like you're in here. No, you're not in here, are you? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the question is again: is a is a a goat arguably more insane than you are? I would say goat is arguably more insane than I am. But you never know, you might pick the, the goat with the, 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 the goat with the sanity chip installed, you know, the, the, the one in a million. Yeah, I'll give you guys a proper walk around that one day, it's not quite finished yet. But that's uh, I'm a mage's build, and he is a fantastic builder. He doesn't do small, and he doesn't do subtle. But what he does is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he's done two builds since starting on this server, and both of them can be seen on the map. And the big map. In fact, let me show you. Um, I think it's supposed that the the object here is more elemental. I mean, if you look at this, this is more uh, um, a Grecian type temple, which didn't have hell in the the Christian purgatory type of sense. More um, different rewards or punishments based upon your background. Okay, this is a two kilometer by two kilometer map, so there's four of these here. So that is four kilometers across, four kilometers up. And do you see that grey bit where the crosshair is? That's his base. Okay, it's quite literally can be seen from space. 
So the guy doesn't do subtle. Uh, he actually is an excellent builder as far as I'm concerned. That is, I mean, that is absolutely brilliant. You know, there's still a bit of work need to be done on it, but that's absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Right, let's go and get uh, some more of this coloured clay on, like streamers. And then we'll probably stick a few more lights on and we'll call it quits. Doing that one. There. Yep, he's absolutely uh, fantastic, as far as I can see. And you know, why I do approach things with a lot of enthusiasm, he has a lot of experience in this game that I don't. So, um, yeah, I think his stuff is highly worth seeing. Well, oh, hello, Sister Zoe. So that would be Raven Zoe, I suppose. should have asked someone to keep count of the number of times I've fallen off this tree. Yeah, that looks a bit more like it. Okay, let's get some more lights in here. And let's plummet to our death a little bit more. Because he's good at that, I is. Yeah, let's actually get these in as well. <laughs> Surely that be should be fa la 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 <laughs> I don't know if you're keeping count or not, Andy, but that actually sounds about right to be honest with you. go with it I think it's a good number a bit more chaos in here I think Hmm. 
Having a more than uh, three hit points probably a good a good idea at this point. Yep. I suffer for my archer, see, I suffer. Thank you. Very kind of you to say so. And well, I think you guys can can see that. I mean, this is not going to be. I don't think this is going to be the best build that I've ever made because I'm making it up as we're going along. But I'm having fun doing it, and I'm I'm hoping that you guys are having fun watching it. And ooh, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Get some more down the sides. Fall into this hole. Hello, hole. Um, well, there's, there's, there's a way of fixing that, Minosha, which is don't do digging big honking coals. You know, um, make a simple house. Okay, look. Okay, the first two buildings I made on spawn were this one. Okay, which was basically just a place to sleep in, with a bit with a bit of design around it. Then I made this one. Okay, and I challenge. Okay, I can challenge you, Minosha. Okay, I challenge you to make something like this. All right, this is just a simple little cottage. You can build your farm around it, whatever. You know, this is this is doable. So give it a try. If you make a complete mess out of it, take a step back and say, okay, it's a bit of a mess. What did I do wrong? Okay, what would I like to change in this? And then change it. And after a while, after you've uh, been playing around a little bit and picked up some experience and perhaps watched some YouTube videos, you, I guarantee you, will be producing good... Um, Uh, good buildings, you know, it's everybody has the ability to do it Have the pay have a little bit of patience and if you don't enjoy doing it then stop. It's as simple as that oh, I can Start using these as stairs Whee hey Yeah, practice does make perfect. That's actually a, a very good point. And I would hardly put myself as a great designer. Um, I think the stuff I do is reasonable. It's a bit unpolished. It's a bit unpracticed. But I'm having fun doing it. And I'm having even more fun sharing it with you guys. So... Um, you know, it's it's thanks to you guys that I I I build this stuff. To be honest with you, it's you guys give me a reason to do it. So thanks muchly. Oh, I want to be able to jump up there, and I can't. And I, every single time I try, it's just not on. Okay, I think that is actually coming together now. Might put a couple of more colours into it, but I want to do the other side first.
But I think this is going to be doable. The big problem with doing a build like this is it's very hard to see here what it's going to look like from 20 blocks away or 30 blocks away. Um, and that's what you've got to start envisioning in your mind's eye when you're making stuff, which is a bit difficult, I would admit. But it can be fun, and with a bit of imagination, it can be done quite easily. Get this down. See what that looks like. Right. Sorry, I went quiet there. I was thinking a little bit, and believe me, especially at this time of night, that gets a bit painful. Very glad I put this ladder in mind. Was cut through the tree there. That'd have been embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I'm going to take my life in my own hands and see how the creepers see it as well. This does seem to be the day when I plummet to my death an awful, awful lot. Yep. I think we're good there. If we put any more colour on it, we're going to start hiding the fact that it's a tree. I think it looks reasonable from most angles. And it kind of does add to the uh, slimy Santa symbolism in the front of it. Yeah. Almost did a little red. Actually, you know what? I think I've got to do that. There's going to be one more little build this evening, and then I'm going to bed. I don't know how this is going to look, but I only want to do it in five minutes, so it's not going to be that artful. Let's drop off some stuff and pick up a couple other bits and pieces and then go and do the last build of the evening. Yeah, thank you very much. It is just three minutes into. <laughs> don't give it away. Ha, <laughs> 
get some earth. That's easier to bring down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Seeing as everyone's guessed what I'm doing, let's go and do this one quickly. And then Samuel Pepys would say, and then to bed. Scaffolding out here. I think go the side is probably going to look better, but let's uh, take a quick look first. Reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which, if you've never read it, I heartily recommend. Um, it has a bit in it where Santa turns up, and it is. Yo, yeah, oh, that's good lord, that's horrible. It's one of the, the rare occasions where you get to see. British 20th, early 20th century values, you know, Peter gets the sword. Well, all I can say there, Raven Center, uh, Sarah, is uh, your sister needs to get her own chat account so that my statistics look better. Yeah, anyway, Father Christmas turns up in there. Peter gets a sword. And Sarah gets a bow, but gets told not to use it. And Lucy doesn't get uh, gets a dagger and gets told to use it, not to use it under any circumstances whatsoever. Because it's the boy's job to do the fighting. Hmm, yes. Okay.
<laughs> and that's that's one of the things that interests me most about those books is the uh, the amount of psychology that went into it, 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 the understanding of people's motives and desires and thoughts and how Lucy is the younger the younger sister is more um, is less traditional and you know Peter is the elder brother and he's the traditional hero uh, he gets the, the the garb of the knight or the paladin but Edmund is it's not so much evil it's just bitter I don't like that but to be honest with you I'm getting very tired and to be honest with you I think about four and a half hours worth of uh, footage to process is more than my uh, is, is as much as I want to do so I think I'm going to call it there I hope you guys have had fun. I certainly have. It's been a bit silly and impromptu. But I think that actually worked out quite well. So, right. I think I'll stop it there and say goodnight to you folks. So, yes, a Merry Christmas to everyone, either today or tomorrow. And I will see you all tomorrow if you are willing. Uh, we'll start at about 5 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. And go through to the point where I can't talk anymore. Or you guys will get bored and go to bed, whichever one happens first. So, I'll see you all. Night-night.